Welcome to the Disaster News Network. Today is Tuesday, June 3rd. As we welcome viewers to this broadcast, we realize millions of people are without power and unable to see this or any other broadcast. The storm that we now know contains a barometric pressure almost as low as the record-breaking one recorded for Superstorm Sandy is powering through some of the most populated areas in the country. In addition to power outages, communications are cut off, cell reception is spotty at best. Here's what happened in the wee hours this morning. The National Hurricane Center reported strong winds and a dangerous storm surge along the Atlantic coast after the storm made landfall at 3 a.m. as a strong Category 3 hurricane off the eastern shore of Virginia at Hog Island. This storm packed record sustained winds of 128 miles per hour and gusts of 141 miles per hour. But Cruella, of course, did not stop there in her path of destruction. The eye of the storm crossed the Chesapeake Bay and headed straight for Washington, D.C. Our meteorologist in the field said, quote, It's been a wild morning, and we're not out of the woods yet. As always, we turn to our chief meteorologist, Janice Wallace, for a look at the latest. Janice? Thanks, Brian. Late last night and into this morning, the Capitol experienced Category 2 hurricane force winds. Sustained winds within the District of Columbia were recorded at an amazing 105 miles per hour, at this point, they are not in the clear, and the entire area is under a tornado watch. But another story we don't want to neglect is the storm surge. Cruella's wind and waves have piled water into the Chesapeake Bay, forcing a monstrous storm surge of the Potomac and Anacostia rivers. We are not quite sure how high the water levels were, but unofficial accounts estimated at 16 feet. This just in. There are now reports of tornado activity, and updated warnings have been issued. These warnings are active for parts of southeast and northwest D.C. and southern Maryland. If you are in the warning area, you should be taking cover now and stay tuned for additional information. Excuse me, Janice, but there is another situation that has come to our attention. We are getting word now that floodwaters are rushing into the city. The centerpiece of the flood protection design for the mall is a wall across 17th Street with a temporary portion that has been erected when floodwaters approach. Seen here. 17th Street is a critical point in the flood protection system that must be intact to prevent significant flooding in the heart of the district. Floodwaters from the Potomac have combined with record rainfall and are already beginning to swamp national museums and the agencies along Constitution Avenue. The damage to our national treasures could be literally beyond calculation. As always, we turn to our chief meteorologist, Janice Wallace. Current conditions are not good. As I speak, the entire national capital region is experiencing torrential rain. The current rainfall total just for today alone is four inches, and they could get four to six more inches before this is all over. This storm is moving away from the area to the northwest, but very slowly. This will continue to result in flooding of low-lying areas, even those that might have been protected from the surge. Back to you. This is a highly volatile situation. Please stay with us. We'll be providing updates as they become available.